Hello and welcome to The Primary Storyline, a video series about post-production as it relates to Final Cut Pro 10, motion and compressor. My name is Andrew Gormley and I will be your host. In this episode, I'd like to give you just a few quick tips about organizing your media in Final Cut Pro 10. The one thing I love about this program is the ability to almost instantly categorize and tag your media. Being organized helps me tell a better story, and so the first thing I do when I import is break up the media into kind of logical chunks. So we all know that a keyword in Final Cut acts just like tagging in the OS X Finder. See if we click on something over here like this, these are all tagged. So as new items are added and tagged, they appear under that collection. It's a real simple way to isolate a select few clips from what could potentially be just a massive, massive library. So in this event of a wedding I recently shot, you can see that I've already gone through and made quite a few keyword collections. And these are just based on how the day progressed. But these were dependent on me actually reviewing the footage and then tagging it manually. Smart keywords can speed up the organizing process significantly, so let's create a few of those based on cameras used, media type, and anything else we might be able to think of. So the first thing we want to do is make sure that our event is selected, not a keyword collection, but the actual event itself. And the collection I'll create is of, let's say, just the things that I shot on a GoPro. So the first thing you want to do is click on the magnifying glass up here. There are a couple ways we can go about this. I know for a fact that the GoPro footage actually has the text G-O-P-R in the preface. And we'll see that that is automatically updated and indicated right there. If I wanted to leave it at this, I could just click New Smart Collection and add it. But I want it to be more specific than that in the event that I might rename some clips or change some things around. So what I'm going to do is add format info right here. And what I want the format to be is camera name includes and then GoPro Hero. Now if I turn off text, you'll see that I've actually have a few extra clips in there because the name of the camera is embedded in the metadata. And those new clips don't share the GOPR name convention. This is actually what I want. So I'm going to create this new smart collection and I'll just name it GoPro footage. For everything else, I used two Sony A7S cameras and that covered the primary shooting. On import, I marked them as angle one and two respectively for multicam syncing, but I can create keyword collections to see them separately. So again, what I'm gonna do is select my event and then click on the magnifying glass up here. And I'm going to uncheck text. And again, I'm going to add format info. And for this format, I'm going to say camera name includes Sony A7S. Now you see down here indicated and updated live, it says 246 items. I'm going to narrow it down by angle now. So again, I'm going to press format info and add that. And I'm going to say camera angle is one, which I labeled. And now you'll see updated live, we have 236 items. So I can create a new smart collection again and say camera one. And it's really that simple to create all of the things you need super, super quickly. We can do this same thing for our second angle. We can say just compound clips, just our multicam clips, photos, audio files, anything you want to narrow down and have as a separate component, you can absolutely do that here. The last thing that's really great that I'll show you has to do with favorites in Final Cut Pro 10. So we know that we can mark just sections of clips as favorites using the range selection tool and pressing F. So what I'm gonna do is just very quickly do that. So I'm gonna press I, O, and then F. And then maybe um, this clip right here, I'll press I, O. You can also mark a favorite using the green star right here. And then again, right here, some more people dancing, I, O, F. And now we can actually narrow it down to see just our favorites. So now we have just our favorites right here. And remember that these are just sections of larger clips. But what we can do with just these sections is actually select them all, right click, and then transcode the media into either optimized or proxy, which is ProRes. This can make editing super quick if you are kind of on the go or you're trying to turn around a same day edit. If your computer's a little bit slower, you might struggle to edit H.264, AVC HD, some of these more robust codecs natively. 
and this would help greatly. So you can actually just check this one and press OK, and Final Cut will generate the proxy media of the clip, which is super, super powerful. Again, I'd like to thank you for watching. If you found it useful, please give it a good rating on iTunes as it will help others find it. And if you have any questions or something you'd like to see covered personally, you can reach out via my website at andrewgormley.com or on Twitter at Dark Driving. See you all in the next episode of The Primary Storyline.